It's Friday night. Do you know what you're watching? Of course you do. And welcome back to On The Peg with me, your host, the one, the only, the ugly, the old, the crazy, the insane. You can insult me all you want. I'm Gen X. I don't care. Of course, I am the mad Montreal man. And to the person out there who said I sounded like Trump, damn fighting words, boy. <sighs> Actually, it was a woman who said I sounded like Trump, but damn, this is fighting words. Put him up. Put him up. Uh, come on. Put him up. I dare you. I dare you. Uh. Oh, I got to. Uh, I have to remember, I can't do voices for a while because my throat still hasn't healed from December. But uh, we're not here to talk about my health or my insanity or my mental health. Whew. Yeah, yeah, we don't have that much time to talk about my mental health. You know what, though? The one good thing about being this insane is... I have toys. And uh, by request today, we are going to be doing a sort of a Superman-themed uh, show. Well, one thing is, I did finally manage to get, oddly enough, this is hard to get in Ottawa, the regular Brainiac. <laughs> Go figure. Got the platinum. Couldn't get this one, but I managed to get my hands on a regular Brainiac, so we're looking at him. But uh, not just him. No, 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 no. Of course, it's about time that we do... The Plastic Man way. That's right. So what do you say we start? Because it's, it's going to be a, you know, a pretty big figure day today. I mean, we got Batman. No variant, but I still have the Green Lantern. A blue Superman. And, of course, we got the Aquaman. So let's, uh, let's start off with Batman, shall we? So what do you say we take good old Bruce out of the package and uh, take a look and we'll look at Plastic Man afterwards, too. Back in a little edit. As you saw in the close-up, he's got one of these really big thick necks, and uh, it's kind of disappointing because there's actually a really nice texture to the head. But I've never been a big fan of these necks because you, you know, I'm not a, okay. I'm not going to talk too much about articulation, but you really don't have much articulation with this kind of neck. It's a bit disappointing. Overall, you know, apart from that. It's a pretty good looking Batman. Black suit. I like the color black. I don't mind the yellow popping on it. I don't really care about the grappling gun. You know, the cape squall texture as well. You know, a little bit plain, I must admit, especially in a wave where there's a variant for every figure except Batman. They could have done a variant for this one, a platinum chase, whatever. So this is kind of like the... Um, how would I put it this way? <sighs> the ugly stepchild of this series. Not the greatest Batman. Uh, it would have been nice to have a normal type McFarlane neck with a swappable head. But uh, let's not digress too much of that. He also comes with the two heads of Plastic Man. And I will start off the bat. I think McFarlane could have done something different than this. They could have done two heads. With the regular peg holes, but have the neck, for example, be, you know, different. So, for example, you could have done the regular type of McFarlane neck, basically have the heads, basically have a regular head, so you don't have to have the neck built into the head, and you could have had it so that the elongated part was the part that you would stick into the neck. Just saying. A bit disappointed with the necks. But uh, what do you say we move on to... Uh, well, let's do, well, I don't have much of a leg to stand on today, so let's do uh, good old 
John Stewart, again. Where's our guy Gardner? Where's our Alicia? There's so many other Green Lanterns. Why do we keep on getting the one from the freaking cartoons? And not to sound mean, because I remember back when this character first appeared in the comic books, yeah, it was cool to have a different Green Lantern. It was nice. Since then, he has been overused in uh, the comic books. He has been definitely overused in the animated series to the point where they don't even give Al Jordan credit as being the first Green Lantern in the corpse from Earth in the cartoons. Or it depends what, you know, there's that one horrible animated movie where they make Al Jordan go evil, which is not even parallax evil. You just make him go kind of cuckoo. Yeah, that was a bad, that was a bad DC animated movie. But no, they just focus so much on him that, uh, there's so many other Green Lanterns I'd like to see. Just saying, just saying. But uh, let's finish getting him out of the package. I've already taken the trusty scalpel. Oh, I like the scalpel. That Oh, so much fun. You see, I could be spending all my time showing you all parts of the box. Even the top of the... I saw a video today where the guy showed the top of the box. Really? <laughs> Whatever. I don't do that. I'm going to take him out now. We'll do another little edit, and we'll take a look at uh, John Stewart again. the reference to the classic comic book cover and uh john also comes with uh, two swirly effects this one goes on his punching hand this one you can, my god you can give him a green lantern mohawk no <laughs> i'm not a big fan of these i'd rather have like a spare head those are more interesting to me but uh you know there he is i mean I like the texture on him. Actually, at first when I saw him, I didn't think he had any texture in his hair. I thought, what a boring head sculpt. But no, there actually is a really nice detailed texture in the hair. When you look at it really close up, uh, the suit's nice and textured. Uh, for, you know, I do like the fact that the symbol is centered. Uh, I would like to get the variant because the variant symbol is kind of cool as well. It, I like the fact that uh, the Green Lantern Corps does allow for some personalization of the uniforms um overall he's a pretty good figure you've seen this buck before i'm not going to talk about you know the body too much the face sculpt is actually pretty good it actually when i compared it to one of the other john stewart's it does look younger so you put him next to the digital al jordan they look like they're from that same time period they have a younger look to them so overall not not bad not bad not a big fan of this, but as Green Lanterns go, yes, it's another John Stewart. We need more Al Jordans. We need a Rich. We need Tom Ray. We need. We need. You know. Okay. How about this, Todd, Mister McFarlane? How about for the next Green Lanterns, we do Guy Gardner because we need him. And his variant could be the when Guy Gardner was the Warrior. That was a cool character, too, by the way. DC knew what they were doing back then. Or even the time when he was a Yellow Lantern for a brief period. I don't care. Just give us a Guy Gardner. And then let's get off planet Earth. Let's get to some of the other Green Lanterns. There is a, for example, there's a certain orange female Green Lantern. Really cool. There's a pink skin one. Super tough. Or if you want to stick with Earth, well, there's two other Earth Green Lanterns. Just saying. Enough of him for now. We're done. Okay. No more. John Stewart. Please. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Let us move on, shall we? Here, hello. Sound like Trump. I'm sorry. That 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 that, co that comment is getting to me. It's starting to bug me a little too much. And it wasn't on the YouTube channel. It was a comment that was sent to me via Facebook. That this person heard my voice and thought I was Donald Trump. 
First of all, I have big hands. Big hands. <laughs> I'm losing it, folks. Okay, let's do Arthur. What do you say? We got Arthur out of the package, the king of the oceans himself, king of the seven seas, the ruler of Atlantis, the one guy who I honestly think in a boxing match would beat out Superman. Just in boxing. No super other powers, just pure strength. Probably stronger. I mean, pressure of the ocean? Just say it. But let's get Arthur out of the package. And no, he's not the variant either. The variant, he'd have black shoulder armor. But let's get him out of the package. <laughs> thing doesn't work that well it kind of at least does semi of a good job if you put yeah, if, I'm not a fan of these things but uh, let me just try to put him back in because he did fall after I filmed the close-up you know he just comes with the arms I do like the detail on him I like the face sculpt I think the pants the little bit cheap that they did this like little line thing Honestly, just solid green would have been fine with me. Or maybe they could have done texturing, but I'm not going to be too picky. The only complaint I have about Aquaman is this. You know what would have been nice? Because if you remember reading this comic book series, after a while, he was able to hard water an actual functioning hand. So it would have been nice if they would have made a spare replacement for this we could pop this off put on a water hand for example that would have been cool that would have been so freaking cool to do that <laughs> now this is one i recommend pick him up and uh another thing i'd like to say well i definitely want the variant and i'm going to track him down too the one thing I, I really like about aquaman there's so much more potential with this character not just in the comic books but in the actual toys themselves, I mean, just look at that face. That is a well-sculpted face. But, you know, for example, Mr. McFarlane, I'm calling you out again. We know you like making a lot of Batmans. And your, your reasoning has always been Batman sells. Well, as you've discovered recently, female superheroes sell as well. So with that said, why can't we get a comic book mirror? Not that movie one. Even I won't buy that one. Well, maybe for five bucks, if it was free, I'd get it. But why can't we get a comic book Mera? How about a comic book Aqua Girl? Or how about a comic book Dolphin? Not an actual dolphin, the character Dolphin. White, beautiful, silverish hair. Gorgeous character. How about both Aqualads? There's just two of them, right? There's so much more potential with Aquaman. We have enough Batmans for now. We have enough Flashes for now. I mean, there's still Max Mercury coming out. Great. I'm looking forward to it. But another reverse flash. You know, where's Jesse Quick? Old or new versions. I mean, the guy or his daughter. We need more Aquaman characters. I just think we need more of this storyline. Heck, I would even buy... Okay, now, now, now I'm pulling your comic book memories. Remember Arthur when he had that multi-pattern blue suit? It was kind of a cool suit. I would buy that. I know a lot of you guys are thinking, what DC multiverse figures do I not buy? Let's not go there. I'm a toyholic and so are you. <laughs> but no, uh, so far the best one I do recommend it. So Todd, my once fellow Canadian, make, make more Aquaman stuff. Just saying. So uh, we only got one left in the, in the series to open. So what do you say uh, we take a look at Superman Red and Superman Blue? Yes, I did manage to get one thanks to a collector in Montreal. Shout out. He had one for me. Basically, 
just just basic just a little bit more than retail and shipping but i finally got one and as you know there's a certain reason why i needed to have both so let's take <laughs> my acdc out of the package and we'll be right back back in blue and red I got them both and now for those of you who are a bit curious as to why I was so insistent that I had to get both well if any of you ever talked to my ex-wife and to a few other people who knew me back in the day I had designed a character that looked a lot like this without the S base everything pretty much except the S that yes I had submitted to DC through a friend of mine who worked for DC they chose not to use it and but was it two years later this happened so a bit of a little like Rrr! but then again it was a cool design the, my version of it and also them adding the s and tweaking it to another character as well i can live with it now okay i'm over the pain but no there we go and uh, as being a canadian i have to say very canadian colors and being from quebec very quebec colors I gotta find reasons to like toys, you know. I have to excuse the addiction. Look, it's Canada's for man and Quebec's for man. Yay! But no, overall, uh, well, let's take a look at blue first. You know, I do like the face sculpt. I like the fact that, you know, it's a really well, I guess, painted on or stickered on uh, system. I mean, it does work. It does actually have symmetry. You know what I'm talking about. No, it does look good, and it does fill that comic book niche when there were two Superman. Red's the same sculpt, basically, just different paint. And I actually have no problems with the paint or the color. Uh, I do have to admit that when I open them up, oh, boy, <sighs> the smell. That new plastic smell hit me pretty hard, but it actually hit me harder on blue. So, uh, no, really nice to having them. I'm happy I got them. Now I have to get the variants of John Stewart and Aquaman, good old Arthur Curry, and I do need to get them, so I need to track them down, but uh, hopefully uh, I can get them soon, because I've looked around here, there's nothing, and oddly enough, uh, from what I've heard, uh, even my buddies at GameStop have not seen the variants of Aquaman and Green Lantern. They, they, there were a few of these in town, uh, but no, no, no. But uh, shall we get to the uh, the man of plastic? That stretchable guy we all love. And no, I'm not talking about the elongated man, even though that would be such... That's... Okay, okay. If you're doing all these flash toys, Todd... And there's a heavy message to Todd this episode. You're doing all these flash toys, right? Sidekicks. Why not do Ralph? Ralph Digby, come on. The elongated man. Ah. One of the best detectives after Bruce Wayne was Ralph. You know, his nose would twitch. He could stretch. He wasn't as flexible as Plastic Man. Let's be honest. Plastic Man can change his shape. But here is good old Plas. And uh, I'm happy I have him. But at the same time, too, there are some issues. I'm going to put a close-up in now. Okay, as you saw in the close-up, he does have that freaking super thick neck. You know, the only thing I wish about that is you get that hole there, you can see in. And if you pop the heads on an awful lot, you might snap that really small peg that's in there. Uh, another issue I have is, for some odd reason, the torso, maybe it's just the one I have, doesn't seem to line up 100%. And the same thing with the, uh, the legs, when you pop them in. It does show a little bit. 
But uh, let's look at the positive, shall we? I like the Johnny Bravo Elvis looking face, baby. Hey, I'm Plastic Man. Hey, I'm going to change shapes for you. Hey. I like the feet. I actually do like the new ball joints. I do like them. They actually blend in better. Big feet, mind you. Which brings me to the why are the hands so relatively small compared to those feet? I speak from experience. Size 13 shoes, big hands, big feet. Hands are relatively small. Another good thing about having uh, two red and blue, because <laughs> when you have two Superman, you actually get a second body, so you can do this. So you can actually put the other head on, on the other torso, you put the other arms on. I just need, well, I need another John Stewart, the variant, so I can have a pair of legs, and the plastic man would be complete. Uh, but what do I think about them both? Well, this is how he's going to be displayed. I don't need the gimmicky stuff. I might swap out the hands for another pair of hands that might look better. That and there's a slight variation in the skin tone between the legs and the hands and the head. So I might try to find a pair of hands that are a little bit bigger, maybe open, to swap the hands out with. But he's going to be the one that's on display. Even though I don't have a stand for him. Not that those small black discs ever really do anything. This one, well, if I do somehow manage to get the variant John Stewart, I will put him on this play as well. But if not, he's just going to go somewhere. But uh, let's talk about this one. Uh, the munched up face. Very uh, Johnny Bravo. Oh, uh, baby. The arms, I don't want to sound very critical, but they could have done a bit more with the arms. They could have put a bendable joint here. They could have done a bendable joint there. They could have made it so this hand could open and close. So you could actually grab someone and pull someone in because this is this is like oh we're gonna do a different version that you can have that's just an afterthought this is this would honestly just be for display if you can build them because that is just it's not really possible articulation wise the spare arms and head are kind of a downer for me all right, so that's pretty much it. I was thinking about doing this one today, but I figure this has gone long enough. And that plus the fact, I'll open this guy up when I open this setup. Yeah, figured why not? You guys have suffered enough today. It's hot. It's humid here on the East Coast. And I have no more Dr. Pepper. Shame. No more Dr. Pepper. But I just figured I'd wait for him as well. Because you know, I might as well do him when I do the rest of the Ghost of Krypton. But for next week, dear, dear, dear subscribers, you you loyal few. And by the way, oh, one more comment. These I'm pretty sure these are just clear versions of flash effects. So, dear viewers, what would you like to see next Friday? Now, on Monday, we started our Mayfex series, by the way. So we have uh well, okay, for Monday, what do you want to see? We have Wonder Woman 84. I just got this today, a Hush, it's Poison Ivy, and I'm not very happy with the uh, company I bought this from. I'll go into details when I actually review this one. Of course, we have the beautiful Darwin Cook-inspired Catwoman. Helena Wayne, the Huntress. Of course, we also have the Steel and the Mayfax Cyborg Superman. So which one would you like to see on Monday first? Let me know in the comments. I will check Monday morning to see which one you'd like me to open and talk about first on the first Mayfax Monday. And as for next week, well, you guys have a choice of things. You have the Ghost of Krypton regular Brainiac and the Sketch Editions. I could do Starfire and Blackfire if you like. I do have the Kryptonite Doomsday. I also have the, well, I have the variants of him, but I'll probably do those to, I'll probably do those two together. I also have, of course, the Christ on Infinite Earth series. And yeah, I'm trying to track down the variants for Spectre and Psycho Pirates. I also still have my uh, Justice League of America movie action figures I picked up recently. But, 
I was lucky. I've been trying to get these for a while for a normal price. I managed to get a few more gargoyles. Not DC related, but still. Gargoyles. And that's all I have. None of my other orders have come in yet, so uh, we're getting down to the wire. Stuff better come in soon. <sighs> yeah. Just think, I mean, that's one episode. That could be one episode. That would be one episode, and that's one episode. So I only have enough figures right now for three more episodes on Fridays. Stuff better coming soon. Because after all, we are toyaholics, and we need our toys. Yeah, we do need our toys. But uh, that's it for this Friday. Oh, frick, they're everywhere, these stupid little plastic things. Can't get rid of them. They come back. I, I wish we could have packaging that didn't have these things in them. You know what I'm talking about? These little itty-bitty... See, if I, if I didn't have a cat, I wouldn't mind, but I have a cat and a dog, and you know what cat and dogs are like? I was going to say something about my ex-wife, but no, I actually still get along with her to a point. I just can't live with her. <laughs> no, I actually still get along with my ex-wife, so let's not uh, go down that rabbit hole. But yeah, so let me know in the comments uh, what you'd like to see next week. Please do. Uh, and as always, uh, no matter how bad life gets, no matter how hot and humid the weather's treating you, or if you're in the West Coast and your whole country's on fire, this West Coast is burning again. Or, for example, if you're in Ireland and it's raining, then again, if you're in Ireland or the UK or Scotland, when does it not rain? One or two days a year? <laughs> And if you're uh, in some other country, say, for example, Australia, or how are you surviving with everything that wants to kill you there? If you're in New Zealand, hello to my Kiwi friends out there. Uh, one day, maybe, I'll come visit. If you're anywhere else, for example, if you're in Hong Kong and you watch the show, well, thank you. Hit like and subscribe. Please. Also, if you're in Hong Kong, I need a hook up to get some stuff early. I'm just saying. Be nice. <laughs> but no, what I'm trying to get to is no matter, you know, what situation you're in, what environment you're in, do your best to stay healthy. And not just physical health. You gotta work on this too. You gotta work on that mental health. Because trust me, I should know mental health has uh, become very important to me over the years, especially in this past year. This is my mental health. And, and if it's your mental health too, well, that's kind of sad, but still it's good. Because this should taking care of your mental health. It's a good way to stay healthy, both physically and mentally. And uh, as always, no matter what people think of you, if they think you're weird for having action figures. They're action figures, not dolls. Action figures. <laughs> but no matter what, who cares what they think? Take the Gen X mentality. Who cares? As long as you have something in your life that helps you to stay happy. That's important. Simple. Stay happy. And uh, as I normally wrap it up, because it is important to me, fake it till you make it. It's like they say, you know, put on a smile every day. It takes less muscles to smile than it does to frown. Still think that's debatable. You know? But, uh, you know, heck, this is my way of staying positive, is doing this for you. Especially you, Shane. Henry, you should be watching more. And all my new subscribers, thank you out there. But no, do your best, of course. Apart from laughing at me, you're allowed to. It's okay. I don't mind. I laugh at myself too. After I look at myself in the mirror and spend an hour crying every morning. <sighs> but no, do your best, of course, to stay positive. And we'll see you on Monday for the uh, first of the ever May Fix Mondays. But until then, have a great weekend. And of course, enjoy having toys. I need to find those other ones so I can get another pair of legs. Hmm. Oh, well, the hunt continues. Got to get Aquaman and John Stewart variants. Got to get the Spectre variant. The Psycho Pair variant. It never ends. Ah! But you all know that. And uh, good luck with your hunts as well. And we'll see you on Monday.
mad mar- Oh, yeah, 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 hair in my mouth. Yeah! Fucking, what do you do? Yeah, fucking tongue tied to me. All right. Well, as you saw, it was better than hey, hey, yeah, I can't speak too hard. <coughs> again didn't you well thank you for doing that it's a good thing you did because I am not done <sighs> no no another reason why I think people should buy Aquaman hint buy more Aquaman mr. McFarlane make more Aquaman figures yes part of it is because of the beard and thinking about the beard why don't we have more comic book green arrow characters I mean let's be honest Ollie Diana, the Black Canary, that's what I'm talking about. You'd have Speedy, Old Version, the new Speedy, Red Arrow, Arsenal, villains like Merlin. Yeah, we, we, need, we need to expand. Okay, Todd, just, this is just, okay, if you're not Todd McFarlane, go away. Todd, just you and me, okay? We have to expand out of just doing Batman, Flash, Superman's we need more Aquaman. We need a lot more green arrows. We need different green lanterns Heck we even need more Wonder Woman characters cheetah for example. Where's our Maximo? Okay, that's Superman related, but still It's about time Todd From one Canadian to another just telling you We gotta start doing all their characters Expand the range. Good example as well. I have a buddy who's never freaking bought a DC multiverse. I gave him a Captain Carrot. He wants the rest of the zoo crew. <sighs> It'd just be nice to, you know, for us toyaholics to expand our collection to, you know, more larger range of characters. Especially some with beards. But uh, that's it for now. And, uh, I guess uh, that's it for now. It is for now. It's it. I'm done. Finito. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I have to go hunt for toys now. I have to go find his variant and the other variants I mentioned earlier. So uh, once more, have a good weekend. And thanks for watching. Woohoo! A new plastic smell. I like the smell of new plastic in the morning. Oh, wow. Ooh, that is potent. That is some potent plastic there. Woo-wee. Clears the sinuses up real good. <laughs>